Hi there. Today we are going to be reading Lesson 3 of Unit 1, Matter and Energy. If we scroll down inside of our student reader or flip to the pages, we'll see that Section 3 or Lesson 3 starts on page 27. If you're using Kami, you can use the markup tool to highlight or you can use your physical textbook and a highlighter or at least a pencil to follow along. All right, page 27, space collisions. Moving space debris. One particular challenge to the International Space Station is space debris. More than 500,000 pieces of space debris orbit, orbit Earth. The most common space debris orbiting Earth comes from human-made sources, including old spacecraft that are no longer in use. Space debris poses a challenge to the International Space Station because in space, objects move with a large amount of speed. Speed is the rate at which an object covers distance in a period of time. It is measured in meters per second. Most debris travels at a speed of up to 28,164 kilometers, or 17,500 miles per hour. At those speeds, even tiny paint flecks can damage structures. This is because moving objects have energy. The faster an object is moving, the more energy it has. Energy changes matter. Energy is the ability to do work. Work is any change in position, speed, or state of matter due to force. Unlike matter, energy is not made up of atoms. However, matter and energy are constantly interacting. Matter can only change when enough energy is present. Energy is always either being stored or doing work. Energy that is being stored is called potential energy. There are different forms of energy. For example, all matter has a form of potential energy called chemical energy. This energy is stored in the bonds that hold atoms and molecules together. The reason we eat food is because food contains chemical energy. Our bodies need that chemical energy to survive. Energy of motion is called kinetic energy. The more kinetic energy something has, the more work it can do. All moving objects have kinetic energy, for example. Energy can change from one form to another in an energy system. A system is a set of connected, interacting parts that form a more complex whole. You are an energy system. When you eat food, you absorb that food's chemical energy. Your body changes some of that chemical energy into kinetic energy when you run, ride a bike, or turn a page of a book. Your body also stores some of that chemical energy so it can be used later. Transferring energy. Energy can also be transferred from one object or system to another. When energy is transferred, it moves into or out of a system or an object. Whenever two objects come into contact with one another, they exert a force on each other for a short period of time. This is called a collision. The reason that even tiny paint flecks can damage the International Space Station is that when two objects collide, the force of that collision causes energy to transfer from one object to another. When a moving object hits another object, the force of the collision transfers energy into the second object. Some energy is also changed into other forms of energy, such as sound. This is why collisions often make loud noises. The force can also transfer energy that changes the object's motion. So you can see down here in the diagram, we have ball one and ball two, and they are pushing against each other. As ball one hits ball two, some of the energy is going to be changed, and same thing here. As ball two hits ball one, some en energy is going to change. They might change direction.
energy can also transfer out of a moving object. For example, friction transfers energy out of a system. Friction is a force that slows motion whenever two objects rub against each other. Friction slows motion because it causes some of the energy of the moving object to change into heat. Think about when you rub your hands together really, really fast. They're going to rub against each other, your hands are going to become hot, and all of a sudden it'll take longer to rub your hands back and forth quickly than it did at the beginning because that heat is creating the friction and friction is causing your hands to slow down. And that's exactly what we just read here. Friction is why your hands feel hot after you rub them together. Your moving hands form a system and they both have kinetic energy. The heat is a sign that some kinetic energy has transferred out of the system. It's important to point out that the energy did not disappear. Instead, it transferred out of the system. This is because energy is never created or destroyed. It just changes its form. Now think of the International Space Station forming a system with a moving paint fleck. If that paint fleck hits the space station, the force of the collision transfers some of the kinetic energy to the space station. The transfer of kinetic energy is what causes damage. The energy can change the position of matter. For example, it can dent windows. Some of the energy is also transferred out of the system and changed into sound energy. If a more massive piece of space debris were to collide with the space station, it would cause more damage than a paint fleck. This is because a more massive object moving at a certain speed has more kinetic energy than a less massive object moving at the same speed. As a result, the massive object will, reply, will apply a greater force in collision, transferring more kinetic energy to the space station. However, the total amount of energy of the system, which is made up of two interacting objects, in this case the space station and the space debris, will remain the same because the energy is not created or destroyed. It just changes its form. And that is the end of lesson three. Don't forget to go ahead, answer those questions, and move on to the next video.